feel so freaking good. <laughs> I feel so good. I was like, I know when it comes to massage that you might have the tendency to have an emotional release. Hope y'all heard me. I said emotional release. These big ass trucks. Um, put my windows up. So yeah, you're, you have the ability to have what they call an emotional release where you will, you know, sometimes people don't understand stuff is trapped inside of their body and they think that they have um, dealt with the issue, but they haven't. And when somebody's finally working on their bodies, it's like a whole bunch of stuff just starts to become released for them. And that was like when I'm a, okay. I was a licensed massage therapist in the state of Georgia. And then when I moved to Louisiana, they gave me so much crap about switching over my license. Like I just pretty much gave up and I felt like that's what they wanted me to do. And they, and I let them win. And it sucks because I let my license, just all that training in a sense, just go to the wayside. But at the same time, I'm like, you can't take away my skills. You can't take away what I know. You can't take away what I do can't take away the way in which I I heal people or my ability to heal people. You can't take none of that away from me. You might be able to the house is You might be able to take away that license and my ability to, you know, really kind of sort of profit off of giving people massages, but just like I was telling the lady in there, I was like, the thing that you receive when you give people massages that thing that you receive when you just realize that you help somebody like money can't money money can't give you that money can't give you that feeling and I just I felt really bad when I stopped massaging because massage therapy is something that I really really love and I really really want to do um I feel like it's a part of my purpose just healing people helping people um, and I have a gift when it comes to my hands. So I felt all the emotions and everything that was trying to bubble up in me. And I was just like, no, <laughs> no, this is not going to happen. I'm not going to do this. If I am going to do it, just let me do it. When I get home, when I'm by myself, I put my, my baby down for a nap or something. Just let me do it at another time. Because so I was like, I just don't want to do it right now. I don't want to do it right now. <laughs> but me. Like, when I tell you I feel so good, I feel so good. Like, I encourage anybody to invest in yourself. And that was my slogan. Thank you for investing in yourself. Because you ain't investing in me. You invested in yourself when you go and uh, get a massage. You're paying for yourself. Like, yes, you're paying the therapist. But again, that's an investment into your self-care. So, I definitely encourage anybody... You know, if you got some money, if you got, I think the most expensive massage I've ever seen from like a place that's like around in your city, I think the most expensive I've ever seen was like $90, but I'm not sure if the $90, I've seen $90 60 minute massages, but I've also seen $90 like, uh, what is it, like an hour, is it an hour and a half, I believe it is, or something like that, I've seen that, so, um, yeah, I highly advise anybody who feels like they need, you know, just that little morale boost. If you feel like you just need that relaxation, if you feel like you got pent up stuff or you you dealt with some trauma or, or you know, situations, because we all dealing with stuff right about now. But if you felt like you've dealt with something and you feel like you think that you've gotten over it, go get a massage to make sure. Like, really go get a massage because... You just don't understand the things that are trapped inside of your body, inside of your muscles, in the fibers of your muscles that's just there. I have so many trigger points in my body. And trigger points, if you don't know, are things are points in your body where, say for instance, I could press right here. And you don't you feel me pressing, but you more so feel it in your back. That's a trigger point. That's like trauma trapped inside of your muscles. So I feel really good. I feel like, man, this was just what I needed for that self-care boost, that morale boost to just like, to just keep me going. I get to go for 12 sessions in total. 
my initial my initial session was 60 minutes which uh, I absolutely loved it I wish every session could be 60 but I'm working on that I'm working on getting two times two times out of the week or at least once every week or two I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it but <laughs> how I want to finagle it and finesse it with my uh, providers and stuff like that but I definitely need this at least like at a minimum I would say for me personally I would say like at a minimum of like maybe three times a month I need to be able to get a massage three times a month would do me so good right now I feel like I'm gonna be a better mom because I just got this massage like y'all don't y'all don't understand I just oh I feel so good I can cry right now I feel so good oh. go get your body rubbed on <laughs> Go get your body rubbed on, please. Just, huh. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. I can't, and I'm not gonna stress it no more because this, this is six minutes, but <laughs> please just go get yourself, go invest in yourself. You will not, even if you can only do it one time a month to start, if that's all you can afford, baby, go do it. The cheapest I've seen massages were like, $45. I've seen 45 even if you can only afford 30 minutes. $45 for 30 minutes. Go get it. If you don't want to do a table and you just want to try it out, see if somebody offer a chair massage. They be having massage in the mall, child. The little Asians be doing massages in the mall. I know you might feel funny about that, but baby, I'm telling you, I'm probably about to get started to go there myself. So, invest in yourself and I promise you, you will not. You will not. Great.